it go today? Really good. It's awesome for everyone to get back into it and um, to start preseason. We're going to have a really good season. How do you kind of take a leadership role on this team, uh, being one of the, obviously there will be a lot of players missing and you're uh, one of the veterans that's around at the moment? I just have to lead by example and um, play well and um, help the youngsters out when they need something or they're not understanding Paul's crazy passing pattern drills. But I uh, just do my best just to be a friend and a teammate and um, just lead them. You mentioned Paul's crazy passing <laughs> drills. It's his second year now yeah. under him. Does that familiarity benefit you guys coming into the season? I always think that I know that at that I, his passing patterns that I can complete them, but I'm still confused every year. But um, I definitely know what to expect, and I and I think I'm used to it. And the people that were here last year are definitely used to it. Um, it's a shock to people that's never tried his um, training sessions, but it's really good. It's challenging mentally, so um, it'll just make them better. So it's good, do everyone. You, do you get still get jacked up for the first day of training? Yeah, I think that um, this off season for me was. Um, it was really busy and I was doing a lot and I was training so much so I don't feel like um, I really took a break I feel like I'm kind of just continuing my training so this year's a little bit different but I still am super excited to begin a new year and start over and um, just excited for 2015. You obviously were in uh, US National League camp a lot in the last year um, mm -hmm. you're not with them right now how do, what is your or what are your goals still as a player to get back with them or have you kind of reacted to that and um, responded? Um, my ultimate goal is to go to a World Cup, go to an Olympics, be on the best team in the world, and um, just play with the best players around me. And so that's still a goal of mine, and um, I will get there. I think that uh, timing is, is off, and um, I respect Jill's decisions, and um, the team's going to do great. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's something that... Um, it, it'll always be a goal, and I'm ready whenever they need me. She told me to be ready, and that nothing's absolute, and there's still time for the World Cup. So I'm just keeping an open mind and training hard. And every day I'm here, I'm just trying to get better and work on the things I need to work on, and just be ready if she calls me. Talk about the extra challenges this year, obviously, with the differences in the rosters. You know, people coming in and out because of the World Cup. Is, what, what does that uh, talk about? That extra challenge that you guys have. Um, that's always going to be a challenge, but um, at least every team will experience it, and it's something that. Uh, Anytime a new team comes together, it's you have to click again and you have to learn each other's tendencies and stuff. So it's always going to be a little grace period where I think we need to learn each other, but we have to expect it. And I think every team will go through it. So um, it will be challenging, but I think across the board it will be challenging. You were uh, obviously involved with the last week of WPS, uh, and third year is kind of a big year for uh, women's soccer in the United States. How does the, what do you think the league needs to do, or do you think they'll be able to maintain? Uh, fandom this year and still generate the same support with some of the players coming in and out? I think that with the World Cup this summer, I think that um, you'll see a huge increase probably after the World Cup and um, I think before, I can't really predict what will happen, but I think just that the players need to continue to be in the community and to be a role model for kids and um, just keep trying to expand the league and, and hopefully everyone's buying into it and I think after a cup it will be a huge bump and it should be. All right, thanks Alex. Thanks, Alex. thanks guys. Thank you.